Web apps can now communicate with nearby Bluetooth low energy devices using the Web Bluetooth API. Position Sticky is back, making it easy to create elements that scroll normally until sticking to the top of the viewport. And HTML5 by default is enabled for all users. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 56. Until now, the ability to interact with Bluetooth devices has been possible only for native apps. With Chrome 56, your web app can communicate with nearby Bluetooth low energy devices in a secure and private manner using the Web Bluetooth API. The Web Bluetooth API uses the GAT protocol, which enables your app to connect to devices such as light bulbs, toys, heart rate monitors, LED displays, and more with just a few lines of JavaScript. Web Bluetooth can also be combined with physical web beacons to discover and control nearby devices. Francois has a great article on updates, and be sure to check out some of the cool demos that go along with it. Previously, building content headers that scrolled normally until sticking to the top of the viewport required listening to scroll events and switching an element's position from relative to fixed at a specified threshold. It was difficult to synchronize and often resulted in small visual jumps. Chrome now supports CSS Position Sticky, a new way to position elements. An element that is position sticky starts relative but becomes fixed after the element reaches a certain scroll position. Simply set Position Sticky and set a threshold for it. Paul Kinlan has an update post about it linked in the description. Last August, we announced that we'd be moving to HTML5 by default to offer a safer and more power-efficient experience. This change disables the Adobe Flash Player unless there's a user indication that they want Flash content on specific sites. And eventually, all websites will require the user's permission to run Flash. In Chrome 56, HTML5 by default has been enabled for all users, which means that they will be prompted to run Flash on a site-by-site -site basis for sites that they've never visited before. More details about how and when users will be prompted and recommendations on how to test your Flash site are linked in the description below. Of course, there's plenty more. WebVR is available as an origin trial. The WebGL 2.0 API is now available. And the Payment Request API has a variety of new features. Check the description for more details and links to documentation and specifications. If you want to stay up to date with Chrome and know what's coming, be sure to subscribe and follow Chromium Dev on Twitter. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 57 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome. <laughs>